All right, so at this point, you've scheduled your home inspection. Now it's time to work on the appraisal. All right, so the appraisal is going to be paid for upfront just like the home inspection is. The difference between the inspection and the appraisal is the inspection is gonna show you the condition and the appraisal is going to show you the value of the property. All right, so the appraisal is required. It's not optional, it's required to show you the value um, so the lender can make sure that they can loan you that full amount for the property. Okay, um, so it's gonna be paid for early and we want to get this scheduled as soon as possible. So shortly after you sign your documents, you'll go ahead and get the appraisal paid for up front. All right, so um, we wanna make sure that this is debit only. This has to do with what the underwriter is looking for. They wanna make sure you're not taking out any credit to pay for that appraisal. So when you do pay for it, make sure you pay for it with a debit card or a check. All right, you're also going to get a credit on your closing disclosure for this amount. All right, your loan estimate is going to show you your appraisal cost. That way you have everything up front. There's nothing hidden. It's gonna show you how much your appraisal costs. You'll pay for it. And then on the closing disclosure, you'll get a credit showing that you paid for it up front. Okay? So something else to note is your appraisal is going to be completed after your home inspection, or I'm sorry, after the post inspection agreement. So this is why it's done this way. So you'll pay for uh, the appraisal, the inspection will get done, you'll work out your post, agree post inspection agreement, and then the appraisal will get done. And the reason why is because if anything falls through with the post inspection, uh, maybe the seller doesn't want to repair anything or there's something that happens there where you want to get out of the contract, you can get a refund for your appraisal up until the point that the appraiser goes out to the property. So that's why we wait to uh, make sure the appraisal is scheduled after the post inspection agreement. So we want to get it paid for early so we can get it scheduled, but then we wait for the post inspection agreement to be finalized and then have the appraisal done. So don't worry too much about the scheduling of everything. Um, we will handle that for you and make sure that everything's done correctly. But this is why we wanna get the appraisal paid for upfront even before you have your post inspection worked out. If you ever wanna get out of the contract, you can get your appraisal refunded until the point the appraiser goes out to the property. Okay, so there's that refund if needed. Really what we're looking for from the appraisal is two big things. Number one, is we want the appraisal value to come in at the contract price or higher. So if the contract price is $200,000, we want the appraisal to say the house is worth $200,000 or higher. It might come in and say it's worth $210,000. That's perfect, all right? We also want it to come in in as-is condition. So we want it to say it comes in at purchase price or higher and in as-is condition. So there's alternatives to these two things. If it, it comes in lower than our contract price, then you and your realtor are going to have to renegotiate the contract and either see if the seller can come down or you can bring extra money to the uh, table. All right. Another option instead of as is, is sometimes the appraisal will come back as what's called subject to, and this means it's subject to repairs. So that means the appraiser basically went out and said, this property doesn't meet federal guidelines and need some repairs done, all right? These are not optional repairs. These are required repairs to meet the value of the property. But most of the time it comes in at value or higher or in as is condition. If it ever comes back lower or in subject to repair condition, then what's gonna happen is uh, we'll work with you and your realtor will work with you and we'll set up a game plan to get you into that house.